کرونا کے پھیلاؤ والے شہروں میں لاک ڈاؤن کی تجاویز پر غور کیا گیا ہے مارکیٹ شاپنگ مالس پبلک ٹرانسپورٹ اور تعلیمی ادارے مکمل بند کرنے کی تجاویز سامنے آئی ہیں Assalamu alaikum Maniba, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam Aisha, I'm good. Did you watch the news? The schools have been closed due to COVID lockdown. Yes, I saw it on the school's website. Now we will be taking online classes. Really? Online classes? It sounds so strange. I wish all goes smoothly. This year is so important for me. Let's find out tomorrow then in our first online class. Yes, let's meet tomorrow inshallah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. The unfinished spread of the infection of COVID has shaken the world to its core. Uncertainty and chaos. Everything including school and academics have been justly disturbed. But we as an alien have always believed in ending calm in the chaos. Within the reach of technology, the entire world from on-campus to online classes, all of it was something very different and new to all students and people alike. Indeed, Izan. Although, as a student, So yes, I did tend to miss on-campus learning and recreation a lot. But at the same time, I would like to applaud all of my teachers who made sure we don't face any academic loss, who listened to our cries and tantrums online with patients, for always giving us the assurance that things will be back to normal soon, and most importantly, for ensuring we don't lose our strengths during these testing times. Oh, Izan, Mr. Skeen has joined us. Assalamu alaikum, Miss. I'm like miss. miss. Can you hear us? We can't see you, Miss. We can't hear you. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sabah Mirza, and that was just a glimpse of uh, just a few of the hurdles which we all faced when we first engaged in online schooling. and it will also serve as a moment of reflection for everybody who's seeing this video to assess how far we have come and how uh, difficult we thought online schooling and online teaching will be and now just look at us look at how many things we've already achieved and how many things we are now able to do online um simultaneously and uh, i'm just about to give you a short overview of how um this evolution happened and how everything changed for us and how we all learned and adapted um at the same time so um 28 february 2020 was the day the school announced that we will be adopting an online medium of teaching and all our classes will be held online unsurprisingly the announcement was followed by a little bit of hesitation and confusion and while we were glad that steps were being taken to ensure everybody's safety we were also wondering how we will adapt all our classes online So gearing up the school set up Google Classrooms for every teacher we were all introduced to the forum and asked to post our pending lectures over there but before any of this could be done we had to prepare customized content for online teaching which was no easy task we all assembled together working in teams fully facilitated by the edtech department special workstations were set up for content development and teachers were taught to record voice overs over powerpoint presentations so students could not only see but here their explanation as well in just a matter of a few days the entire teaching environment had changed some teachers who were still getting used to the new medium opted to shoot and record videos in empty classrooms and posted those online whatever medium a teacher was choosing our motivation was the same students come first and their teaching and learning cannot and should not stop On 15 September we resumed on campus following the school's very own hybrid teaching and learning model designed as per government directives. We are back with the bang excited to revive the on campus journey. This is when I realized that indeed the greater the storm the bigger the rainbow. The students resumed on campus such that half of the strength was online and the other half was on campus and then it switched. The school arranged various events such as the obstacle challenge to keep our energy running while following all SOPs. It was a riveting event hosted by the Generation Sports Society. Cricket and football tournaments were quite the hype as they were being scheduled one after another and it was heartening to see the energy and the smiles of the students back on the ground. 
while the unfortunate circumstances of COVID-19 continue to prevail, Generation School was still able to provide its students with the same enriched, exciting and valuable learning experience under a SOP's directed environment. Hmm. Uh, Ranma Bita, uh, what do you think what class are you attending? Me, I'm attending this for Viha session. Please. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mrs. Maimuna Imran, mother of Muhammad Izan, studying at grade 10 in Generations School. I've been connected with Generations from last 13 years, and I am, alhamdulillah, 100% satisfied with my decision. Um, for choosing generations as a school for my kids. Well, uh, I feel myself uh, very much blessed uh, to have uh, generations as an academic platform for my children. Throughout the pandemic, uh, generations have proved that the school is ready to cope up with the situation in any way. Joby sessions conduct way, uh, not only the academic sessions, the online classes, but as well as the counseling session for the parents and for the students as well that helped us a lot uh, in deciding the syllabus, the, uh, in deciding the subject options and to cope with, with the situation psychologically for the students and for the parents as well. Online jo, um, arranged kiya school ne, that was very smooth, that was very effective and heads off to the school you know, ne, triangle ko complete kiya to make uh, it possible for the parents to uh, meet their teachers of their kids to get to know about the progress of their kids. Heads off to the school for the effort they made for the parents and the students as well. Assalamu alaikum. I am Rahima Wasim, the current Iqbal House Prefect. Keeping the students' well being in mind, Generation School has proactively put first things first and collaborated with the Sindh government to hold a vaccination drive in school. This drive provided vaccinations not only to the staff and the students, but to Generation families, their household workers, including maids, drivers, and more. Generations has also always shown its keen interest in the welfare of the society. The alumni, the student body, and the prefect body got the opportunity to volunteer in such a huge community service. Kudos to the school and all the volunteers who made a 100% vaccinated community and school goal come to life. An additional policy of no vaccine, no entry has been introduced for all those who are 18 and above. Honourable audience, we are very pleased to announce that almost after a whole year, the entire student body is back on campus. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah Rahima. Moving on to on-campus teaching and learning. As you all must be aware, the CAIE major series have been postponed to October and November, which does deem to be another obstacle in these already difficult times. However, we're not those who give up easily. With the efforts of our teachers, the weekly timetable has been scheduled such that we, the students, are able to prepare for examination subjects as well as continue with the academics of the new session. Hats off to all the students for their cooperation with their teachers who are putting in their tireless efforts to make this a possibility. As for grade 11 students, they're going to have the CAI mini-series in July and August, inshallah. All our prayers and best wishes are with the students. May we all get the results we desire and do our best. Ami. Esteemed audience, Generation School realizes the importance of balancing studies and co-curricular activities as indeed all work and no play does make Jack a dull boy. To inculcate these holistic skills in the students, a new program has been introduced. This program works directly in the interest of the students to increase on-campus student-to-student engagement. Currently, a futsal tournament is under schedule in collaboration with the Sports Society.